So to make the African mask, um, you just need some light cardboard. You could do this with paper too, but it's kind of flimsy for a mask. So, But light cardboard is going to be a little bit stiffer and you'll still be able to cut it. Um, so this is like card stock. And we're just going to fold it in half first. And you could fold it in half the hot dog way or the hamburger way. Depends on what you want the shape of your mask to be. So now that I've got my folded side, that's what I'm going to cut through. So I'm going to cut through the folded side. And I'm going to cut half of the shape of my mask. And I kind of like the Dan masks. So I'm going to cut a shape like that. They're kind of pointy at one end and round at the other. So, And you don't have to draw a line, but just know that you're going to cut through the fold, the folded part. And you can always change the shape as you go. So I'm going to cut it out. And I changed it a little bit. I didn't do right on the line. Unfold it. I actually like that shape, but if you don't, you could just fold it back up. Cut it again. You can cut it flat on the bottom. It could be more square. Some of the African masks are square. Um, so the next step is going to be to punch holes in it with a hole puncher. So I've got my hole puncher here, and I'm going to fold it back up, figure out where I want the eyes to be, and reach in make a little hole. And you could leave it like that, but um, I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger. So the hole puncher is just to start the hole. It makes it easier to cut. And if you don't have a hole puncher, you could just have an adult start it for you. But you just want to be very careful. You don't want to... When, you when you're pushing the scissors through the cardboard, that's, that's a good way to hurt yourself. So got to be really careful. Have an adult do it. You could even do it, put this on the carpet and push through like that to start the hole, but if you have a hole puncher, that's the easiest way. But then you have eye holes in your mask like that. Don't forget to save your scraps because that's how we're going to make the nose and the mouth. So they all have different shapes. Some don't have mouths or noses, so it's up to you how you do this. But if you have scraps, then you can glue things on top of this. And uh, I'm just going to cut the shape of a nose out here. If you remember Modigliani, he was inspired by a lot of African masks. So I'm gonna. I'm thinking about Modigliani, how he had like a really long nose on his portraits, on his people. So whatever shape you want, I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna fold it a little bit too, so it stays on better. And you could curl it up like that, so it sticks out a little bit. Um, just a little bit of glue on the back stick it on. Uh, Elmer's white glue takes about half an hour to dry so you're gonna wanna leave it somewhere safe and save this because we're not gonna finish it today but uh, we will another time in the next lesson. And you could cut, you could save your scraps and cut other patterns out if you want to. Just different shapes. In Africa they'd carve these out of wood but this is a lot easier and a lot safer. like a kind of eyebrow pattern on top and it's symmetrical which means it's the same on both sides but flipped so if you tilt one one way you're gonna to want to tilt one the other way like that it's up to you how it looks okay so and then don't forget set this somewhere safe because we're gonna use it in the next lesson work hard and have fun